Hi there, for some time my BCT15 radio has been paired up with a B1300 antenna purchased from Nevada Radio maybe 20 years ago. This was a general coverage receive antenna. In recent years reception here has become worse and worse and I'd kind of given up on scanning until one afternoon this year I was sat outside in the sun with my XLT125 connected to one of the very well known Nomad antennas made from ribbon cable. Reception was impressive, particularly in my favourite band of Marine. This led me to purchase a Spectrum Radio J or G pole antenna cut for Marine traffic. This video shows how I installed this antenna outside as a base station unit. Just as a test, I made a short video on the old antenna of this Volmet. A comparison will follow. So, this is the scanner on 128600 Volmet. It's pretty good today, actually. It's on, well, it's fading between 1 and 2 on the reception. This is with the old B1300 antenna. So this would be for a comparison when we put the new one up, even though it's cut for the marine band. I obtained a 5 metre length of 2 inch PVC pipe. Once cut down, you can see it and the antenna laying next to it. The pipe is the exact size to allow the antenna to slide up inside. Because I wanted the coax to enter via grommet, I needed to unsolder the coax from within the antenna on its matching circuit PCB. Once carefully done, I was able to slide the coax through the new grommet, the end cap, and the original grommet before soldering it to the PCB. To ensure the antenna remained suspended within the pipe, I devised two methods, primary and backup. Primary being two bits of credit card glued together and jammed inside the top of the pipe and also glued in place with PVC glue. The backup is a cable tie attached to the inside of the top end cap as can be seen here. Of course I wanted the pipe to be sealed to keep the weather out. However this is no easy task even when using PVC glue caps and grommets. I therefore took advice from our radio amateur friends and included a 4mm hole with a plastic gauze to keep insects out. Now, as the heat and cold act on the pipe, air will be drawn in and expelled along with moisture. So how has all this worked out? Well, initially the idea of having a nearly 7 foot white pipe on the apex of the roof was a concern. However, it's super low profile. Here it is on installation day. Performance. Well, here is the new antenna working the same volmet as before. However, this time it's at full strength. So this is after installation, same volmet. And we'll have a scan round later. I can now hear marine stations all along the south coast, which is fantastic for me as I've really missed it. Never was I able to hear so much even when the B1300 was new. My QTH is near to Barnum in West Sussex. Uh, many thanks for the update. Dover Coast Guard out. Ah, Dover Coast Guard. That's a heck of a distance from here. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. What is this noise I keep getting now? As soon as I put the antenna up. Should it be there? Is it interference from somewhere else? Someone let me know.